March 2020. Lockdown, no work, no food. Yogesh Sachdeva set out on a mission to feed those in need while it seemed that the city had come to a halt. What started with a few sandwiches were now two box full. This is Sheikh Sarai, where around 40 laborers have been stuck for the last three days without any food. They have been desperately calling since morning, waiting for their... Yogesh would be on the road every day to look for people who needed help and did not have access to food in the absence of street vendors or money. Now moving towards Gitanjali enclave, where another group of 25 laborers are waiting. Two boxes became multiple boxes. Everyone would queue up for their food packet, keeping patience, knowing there was enough for everyone. They now knew Yogesh and his untiring effort to get them their food every day. Finished distribution of 100 plus packets of food. Now going to fourth destination to find more. It was painful to see the helplessness and dependence on the basics like food. Yet they showed all respect for the norms of social distancing while picking their food packet. People and companies came forward and offered packed meals. Passing Dr. Thoreau's house, finished food, di food distribution for over 200 packets. Went to Malviya Nagar, Saket, Lajpat Nagar, and Lodi Road. Incidentally, crossing 97 Lodi, crossing IIT Delhi after delivering more than 140 packets of food to over seven locations in Delhi. Now heading back home. Strangely, we have no volunteers as of now who are willing to distribute food to the last mile. The supply was increased to a large extent. More parts of Delhi and larger population of migrant workers who were stranded were now being served. This is the area which we have chosen for food distribution today. Near village Masoodpur, the Joki Jopi cluster, where mostly Alka Junes from AIPC distributing food packets which we have arranged to Delhi government. Areas with kids were located and served food. Understanding the needs of people was important. The food packets were now being replaced with raw material to help them cook what they liked and get more than just one meal a day. People came forward and supplies were growing. Pressure by profiteers was a challenge. Moving to Mayur Vihar to pick up food supplies for 500 people. I have just crossed the DND flyover. Vehicle breakdowns, even car being impounded, did not deter Yogesh. Waiting for the food delivery truck to come with lunch, which has to be delivered to over 250 people waiting 
for me. Yogesh's alma mater opened doors for him and offered not only space for the growing operations, but also started helping him in managing the operations that now required organizing and planning. Connaught place, absolutely deserted, with no people. The city is this Anand Parbat industrial area. Thousands of small factories were operating here and employing many, many laborers. Today, all these have closed down and all these people are facing. Frontline workers also needed support as they had nowhere to go and get food while they were on duty during the day. Soon Yogesh realized that there were areas that were not receiving help. No one was serving areas that were hit badly by the recent riots. Without caring, he went ahead and started serving supplies to people in these areas without looking at any cost nor any religion, just serving humanity. It was heart-wrenching to see how much people needed this support during these testing times. Companies like RJ Corp came forward and contributed 20,000 bottles of water and ORS to the migrant workers returning home on foot. At the end, a smiling face I'm sure is what mattered to Yogesh.